Hello friends, welcome to a new watercolor tutorial. In this tutorial, we will make uh, this simple landscape scene uh, from imagination. I will explain the entire process on the way. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and uh, press uh, the bell notification icon and so that you get notified for all my future videos. So let's get into the video. Here I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper. It's an Indian brand called Chitrapat. It's a, it's a 270 GSM paper with a little bit of a texture. You can see the texture here. I am using a soft round brush. In fact, a Chinese calligraphy brush. You can use any soft uh, round brush uh, with a reasonably good tip. So I am using the belly of the brush so that to I get some random shapes. And at, at this point, I'm picking some thicker, thicker uh, consistency paints to suggest some darker areas within the tree foliages. And uh, then maybe I will use the same tone for creating some branches. Okay. Here I'm looking at the overall shape of the tree and the branch, and the base, etc. Uh, we, we, this is how I think we can make convincing trees. You just uh, make the foliage and uh, uh, create some shadow areas and uh, create some uh, branches that is seen through. And uh, so, yeah, some edge leaves can create more interest. So this is uh, how you can practice trees. Okay, don't worry too much about the accuracy, just the overall shape. I think. This tree is good. We have to make some ground now. So let us make some, suggest some ground and uh, some ground and some shadow, etc. So if you're finding value in this particular tutorials, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell notification icon. You get notified for all my future videos. I'm planning to release a, a video uh, in each week. So. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and I would also appreciate if you can give a thumbs up and uh, share your thoughts in the comment box below uh, so that that will be a great motivation for me and I will also let you know what do you think of my video how can I improve my video etc it will help your views will help in improving the quality of the contents right now we have the tree we have the shadow and uh, as an additional interest, I am trying to create some, uh, suggest some figures. So you can see a lot many other videos on my channel where I, I have uh, explained the process of creating figures. So you can go for, uh, go and watch those figures if you have difficulty in uh, practicing figures. Uh, here we are more worried about the overall proportion and uh, maybe suggesting some action. Okay, so a little bit of an action and uh, see they both, those both of these figures, those people, they should have some kind of interaction. That is what I am trying to convey here. See at this point, if you look at the tree foliages, you find a lot of interesting uh, merging of colors and uh, uh, you that looks interesting. Now we have the tree, we have the figures, let us uh, try to make some animal sort of thing maybe uh, a gorge okay so here again uh, we, we are not going for precision and how to make gods and all i mean it's a different subject altogether we need to practice those uh, i'm not telling that my god uh, is good or it is just i think it is convincing and it is uh, uh, suggested reasonably okay so that is what is uh, important so we have to uh, the viewer should have an idea that okay this is probably a couple of gods and uh, uh, they are I mean taking the shade of the tree and uh, there are two people and they are talking each other so th that kind of a story that is what we are uh, uh, trying to make it here yeah, I think I could have made it a little smaller but anyway it's a practice, so it is not a final uh, work that uh, you can you can probably sell it. It is the objective of this uh, tutorial is uh, to to 
do some daily practice okay keep on doing it and uh, add add uh, add uh, these figures animals gods dogs etc and try to uh, gain confidence so this exercise the purpose of this exercise is to gain confidence and to get better with your uh, imagination getting ideas etc okay so i am use as i told i am using a kind of a monochromatic approach here Mo- mainly it is uh, some kind of blue it could be cobalt blue it could be cerulean blue and uh, then it is painish gray dark gray color these are the two colors i have used so far so you can also practice with the similar i mean mat- similar uh, monochromatic colors right now i am using a different color orange which is directly taken from the tube and uh, the the idea is to sh- create some interest of uh, color contrast and also suggest the exposed body part like the face the hand etc face and neck etc i think that's it for today's uh, practice hope uh, you found it informative and uh, let me know uh, as i told earlier please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification and please do let me know your thoughts what do you think and what can be improved etc your comments are much valuable for me and uh, please do practice and uh, let me know if you have any questions okay thank you so much for being with me and uh, we will see you in the next video bye bye